Hey, hey, what do you say? We talk about this dark fae. I just may. It's the most important time of the year, and I'm not talking about Christmas, although it happens. I am recording this very close to Christmas. But it's Rotation 3, and the most important resource that you can get from the Doom Tower in any of the rotations is the stuff that you need to create Fatal Gear. And this is where you get it. And this is maybe the trickiest boss to fight, even though the boss herself isn't the hardest boss. But at this point, we're at the hardest level of the Doom Tower. And you're fighting her at the highest difficulty level. So you really have to make sure your team works. So the most general advice I was ever given when I first started playing this game was play through the Dark Fae the way you would play through the arena. Which is funny because now it doesn't exactly feel like the same meta in the arena either. You're not necessarily trying to go fast in the arena all the time, but early on in the game, you are. Anyway, this team is completely filled with turn meter control of some way or something to that effect. So we have Lysandra, the Queen of Speed, who can turn meter manipulate the enemy team. Important, because you want to be able to cut in ahead of your own enemy team. Then we have Allure, the Queen of Turn Meter Manipulation from the Demon Faction. We have Newt. Everybody knows about Newt. I mean, just look at the way he's taking chunks out of the Dark Fae. I, uh, I used to have a team that took like 10 minutes to turn meter control her. Newt has completely altered that. You, of course, have Royal Guard here, who's got the slow, which we didn't actually get inflicted this time. So, uh, this is a suboptimal run, it's looking like, but uh, when you get that slow on her, there's no way for her to take a turn. If she happens to take a turn, though, there are a lot of ways on this team to take it back. And one of the greatest champions on this team is Herndig, because he can cycle through his moves just about endlessly. So that's the run. This is my first attempt of the, of the month. The proof is here in me getting the shard. Uh, I could run it a bunch of times, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to ask you to trust me, but we are going to look at the team. So we'll cycle through the presets, and you can see the stats on the side as well. So with Lysandra, basically... She's just going to do her A1 until she gets to the third wave. If you have a Kaimar or a Resetter, of course, you can use that in the third wave. But this is really for anybody who doesn't have a Kaimar to reset things. This way, you know that you're holding off on anything you might need until you get to the third wave, where you, you really need to hit the ground running in the third wave. So here's Herndig. I basically try to keep uh, one of his moves off permanent use so that he can have it on the third wave. Then we got Royal Guard here. He just reserves his takedown from, from wave two so it can be ready on wave three. And Allure, really, I, um, I just use the A2 at the beginning of the round and then never again in all three. This is basically how it works. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for joining. See you on the next video. Take care.